Whether you are just starting out in the world of web design or you are familiar with its complexities, you have found the perfect resource to improve your skills. Welcoming you to the world of web designing where we discuss the art and science of creating captivating and functional web experiences. In this immersive journey, we will demystify the core concepts of web design, understanding user experiences and responsive design. Get ready to explore color theory, typography, layout design and more as we tap into your potential. Whether you love coding or have an artistic flair, this course is designed to enhance your grasp of web aesthetics and functionality. Join us in this thrilling adventure in the world of web design. From designing your first web page to crafting user-friendly interfaces, this course opens the door to creating digital experiences that truly connect. Let's take this journey together and make your design dream a reality. Introduction to Web Design before we dive into the concepts of web design, we will just take up a real world example. Say for example, you have to attend an interview and the venue of the interview is unknown to you. You're going to the venue for the very first time. So first thing what you do is you try to plan your trip, right? You try to check where the venue is. You will see how exactly you will be able to commute there. Then you will go to the venue. You will see which floor uh, the um, company is or where the recruitment is happening. Then uh, you will try to look out for people uh, who can give you directions or there might be some signboards which you would see uh, while considering the uh, location for your venue. And then you go there and then that's how the process is smoothened for you. Like basically you do a proper planning there. Right. Similarly, when anybody is trying to have your website visited, the first thing they would like to look into is the way the content has been added onto your website. Is it according to the ideas or is it accordingly based based on the criteria for which the content is being uh, looked out for by the end users. So what are the things involved in your web design? The first thing which is involved in your web design is the ideas, the brainstorming which you do for the content, the design, how the uh, website should look like, what are the components it needs to have. First thing you do is you try to brainstorm and get an idea of what exactly is your website will be uh, looking to the end users as an end product, right? So that is the first step. That is you try to brainstorm based on your ideas. The second thing is you try to design the website based on a specific purpose. Like you can see, we have different e-commerce websites like you have your Amazon Flipkart. You don't see any news related information onto these e-commerce websites. We do have news related information websites like Times of India or Deccan Herald, wherein the design of the website is to the specific purpose on giving the news or an e-commerce applications. So that needs to be segregated when you're trying to have a design for your website. That is, you need to have a specific purpose for your design, right? After the planning is done and the design has been uh, ready, the next thing is you need to implement them. So implementation is one of the crucial part for your website design because that is what will help you in trying to bring your ideas which you have brainstormed into an excellent result in the form of your website. Now, what are the elements of your web design, right? As you can see, your any website which you visit, be it Google or Amazon or any website which you visit, you see there are a lot of components in it. You see there are audio visuals into it. Uh, you see there are some banners which are coming up. You see about us page, contact us page, the mission and vision of your website, everything, right? So what are the basic elements which you need to have onto your website? The first thing is the layout right? The layout of your website needs to be a high priority consideration because you just cannot have the layout being uh, designed in a very staggered way wherein the content is distributed here and there onto your website, right? So that is the first thing which you need to take care of is your layout. And then the color, the color composition which you give for your website should be more appealing based on the specific purpose for which you're trying to design your websites. Right. And then you need to add graphics, that is the videos 
or audio visuals which you want your uh, uh, website to display right like you have uh, netflix or any z5 or any entertainment uh, websites if you see you can see the graphics are given uh, which gives whole and soul idea of what exactly is the upcoming trends or the upcoming web series there right so that has to be designed in an appropriate way or added in an appropriate way based on the specific design of your website and then the fonts of your web design the fonts of your web design must be in the very specific based on the purpose of your website it should not be like cursive writing or something like that right you need to be very specific when you're trying to select your fonts and then lastly the content the content which is going on to the website is what is the major attraction after the color and design which you have on your websites the content which you add on to your website needs to be a uh, very appropriate based on your website design as we said that the design of your website is based on a specific purpose the content should replicate that purpose for which you are trying to design your website now coming to the differentiation between your website and your web pages right there is a lot of difference between your website and your web pages what does it so your website as you can say is a collection of your web pages right so collection of your web pages will definitely define your websites as you can see that any websites will have n number of pages navigation links will be there uh, say for example you have your home contact us about us about the products the services the frequently asked questions and much more right so this collection of your web page will uh, define a website which you are trying to design and what exactly is a web page the independent page of your website which has the content which has the uh, text which has the graphics which has multimedias and the page which is trying to give specific information of what is it all about right so that forms your web page uh, definitely in your about us page you will you will not add on the product details right so uh, your independent page which is giving a specific information of what that page is all about is what is your web page so your website is collection of your web pages and your web page is the independent page of your website which includes all the graphics text multimedia and specific informations relevant to the website for which you're trying to create okay coming to your web page design you need to create a user friendly web design right so uh, it should not be like a visitor is visiting your website and then uh, the person is lost usually most of the websites have wherein uh, technical websites you can say they will ask us for your uh, sign up and login sheets and all those things right so a visitor must not be uh, under confusion like where it has to go or how do it fetch the relevant informations from your website so you need to create user friendly websites so what are the criteria which will help you in trying to have these user friendly web designs being made the first one is navigations right as you know that your website is a collection of web pages obviously you will have lot of navigation buttons into your websites so that navigations needs to be made very easy for the end user to navigate and get hold of the information for which it is trying to look for right and then you have the multimedia uh, that is your audio and uh, video visuals which you're trying to add onto your website right so i'll just take up the netflix example itself like uh, if you see the user interface over there uh, initially the when you open the web page you will first have the trends which are going on the web series or the uh, new movies which are added onto your netflix right and then followed by maybe um, web series which are previously uh, there on the websites and so on the information is being given there so you need to have that systematic way of trying to have your multimedia audio and uh, uh, video uh, files to be added onto your website so that the uh, user is able to find the exact match for which uh, he or she is trying to look out for information for and then compatibility should be there when we say compatibility compatibility we are uh, trying to understand the compatibility based on the different browsers as well as based on the different devices which the website will be logged into 
right? So different browsers, you have Google Chrome, you have Mozilla Firefox, and then different devices. When we say it could be your desktop, your mobiles, your laptops, and so on, right? So compatibility should be there when a person is trying to view your web pages, right? And then you have the technology which is being used, and then the interactivity which we give with the help of your JavaScript, right? So that needs to be very user friendly. The uh, interaction between the end users and the website should be kept very simple. So these are some of the factors which will help you in trying to create a user friendly web design. So what are the best basic principles involved in developing websites, right? They need to be some protocol which needs to be followed, rules needs to be followed when you're trying to develop your website, right? So your home page must demonstrate top priorities and a variety of what the user is looking for, right? So the first page, or you can say the landing page which a website gives, needs to actually give the appropriate information of what the specific website is made for. Right. So your home page must demonstrate the top priorities and it needs to include the variety of information uh, for which the web page has been designed and the end user can take help in trying to navigate through the web pages and get the information for which it is trying to browse your website for. Right. And then you have design for your end users and your readers, right? When we say design, it comes up to your uh, design in terms of the color combinations, what you use, the font stylings, what you use. All those things needs to be based on the specific purpose for which you're trying to design your websites, which will help attract the end users and will allow or will uh, attract the end users for being intact with your website, right? And then navigations must be consistent. When we say navigations must be consistent, most of the websites, you can see that the navigation bars are on the top of your web pages, right? When we say on top of your web pages, just to have some unique design or something, you cannot just give navigations on the top wherein you have uh, the particular informations on the different tabs are, are at the bottom. You cannot do that. A consistent way of navigations needs to be followed, right? And then orient visitors to the website. When we say orient visitors to the website, uh, as I said earlier, a website or the web pages must be according to the specific information, it must uh, have a smooth navigation to the web pages and the visitors should not feel lost when they're trying to extract information from your web pages. And then website visitors can uh, and they do not read. As you know that uh, readers or any end users are very impatient. They just want to uh, scroll your website and anything that attracts the website is what they try to read on right? Uh, they just don't try to read everything which is there. They just try to scroll whatever the information is and any information which attracts their, uh, their eyes is what they try to uh, look into for, right? So website visitors can and they do not read. So this needs to be kept in mind when you're trying to have your uh, content being um, uh, finalized for your websites, fine? Use simple, descriptive, and unique page titles, right? So page titles are something which are given in different font sizes, like bold, italics, and given a lot of graphics or some, uh, some of the page titles are just coming from left to right and right to left. So uh, use simple and descriptive, uh, unique uh, page titles, which will help the end users to really get the core of what your website is all about, right? And then better to follow web conventions. Uh, there are uh, specific web conventions like where the mission and vision of your website has to be, where the contact us page has to be, where the copyright uh, disclaimer messages has to be attached. So there's a web convention. You just can't have the copyright information on the top of your web page, right? It needs to be always at the bottom of your web page. It is better instead of just saying that my web page is unique and this is how I design, you are just trying to not value the end user's um, perception of trying to see how the website is going to be. So it is better to follow those uh, web conventions, you can say, right? And then keep graphics that are very simple. Uh, obviously, when you're trying to look into for graphics, you need to even check the file size of the graphics which you're trying to add onto your web page so that when the web page is getting loaded, you will not be able to, the end user is not waiting for it to get loaded, right? It is just loaded instantly.
and then use real images instead of having uh, any um, animations or any uh, cartoon characters or any just photographs or so it's better to use uh, real images of the specific content what you have on your website and you should always include your contact us page coming to your planning process of your web design right uh, the planning stage that is the site specification and plan that's the first step of your uh, web design you have an idea and the first thing you do is you try to plan on how exactly you will be able to have those idea being which is brainstormed uh, made into a live website and then post it on to the domain right so first thing is your planning that's your planning stage wherein your site specifications and plannings are being finalized there and then the second step is you are trying to gather the content when we say gather the content it is in the form of your videos text photos your graphics anything it can be anything okay uh, which you see on the website these days right so you need to gather the information specific to the web page websites which you are trying to develop for after you have gathered the information the next thing is you need to plan the structure right that is outline of the site uh, in the web browser how exactly you want the components to be placed onto your web browsers like you have a text component you where you want the audio to be where you want the photographs do you need a slide show onto your web page all that you can have that in your plan structure phase of your uh, planning process of your website and then after you have gathered all the information in the planning structure has been outlined then you can have the design like the look and feel of how your website is going to be that can be uh, planned accordingly based on the specific purposes for which you're trying to design your website and then you try to test your website you fine tune the site based on uh, maybe you take a survey of how the website is looking like and then you try to test that and then you make it live right and uh, public and ongoing uh, refinements is what you do uh, that is after your uh, website is launched